did the eating bug stunner stick video and we had a lot of guys say we you know they wanted to learn how to prepare bugs or prepare grasshoppers so I wanted to show you a, a quick clip on how to essentially eat bugs and not the crap that you see on TV you know this whole Bear Grylls thing of you know just taking the head off of it without cooking it and stuff it's you're just taking a risk of getting parasites so we're going to show you the proper method we always cook everything out here and any kind of survival thing that we do and basically all I've, I've done is created a, a set of clamps that I'm basically going to stick into the grass or stick the grasshopper in so that I don't have to skewer it or anything like that and then I'm going to fire roast it but uh, <clears throat> you just get you a simple stick like this you know carve it up and put a split in it and then you're going to uh, take your grasshoppers we got a whole bunch of them I'm gonna grab a fat one out of here and you've got to remember one of the most important things about eating grasshoppers is that we remember to re remove the legs and the wings, especially the big back legs. Those will get caught in your throat. And I've seen people who've eaten these things get them lodged in, your, in their throat and then, you know, damn near choked to death. But I've already removed the back legs off of these. You want to do that when you're actually catching them and then keep them alive until you're ready to actually put them on the fire. And then you're just going to take their wings, just like you do their legs, and rotate them off. And you don't want the wings because that's just another thing that's going to get caught in your throat. But these grasshoppers are a complete food, guys. I mean, you can literally survive on these things, and we've got them in pretty... Uh, big abundance around here so it's definitely a food source that we take advantage of in the summer and I'm just basically just going to clamp that guy in there and I want to be able, I want to have split the stick far enough back to where there's not so much pressure on the stick that it kind of squishes his guts out so every stick's going to be different and then I remove the bark also so I'm going to line this thing up and the next step is to throw him on the fire and roast him up Just pluck these wings off. Just shove them right in there and make sure the other ones don't get away like this one is. Wow, this is like the UFC of UFC of grasshopper champions right here. That buddy don't want to quit. And you just stack as many of them as you can in there and uh, then you're going to roast them on the fire. So you're going to place your knife just maybe three inches down from the end of your stick and just kind of smack it like that and just keep splitting it down so that you can have a secure thing to put your grasshoppers into that's basically it I'm just gonna keep running this down and I'll have my grasshopper skewer stick. I'm removing the bark because a lot of barks have tannins and we don't want any kind of wood that is going to impart a nasty flavor and anything that's got tannins isn't going to be great for cooking purposes so I'm just going to take the outer bark off this so that we don't get any unwanted flavors in our grasshoppers. Alright, so I've got my grasshoppers. They're ready to cook. I'm going to just go ahead and set them over the flame. There's nothing fancy about it. Oh, one lost a 
his head. And I'm just gonna sit here and roast these until they're really well done. You know, anything that we cook out here in a survival situation needs to be well cooked. It needs to be well cooked regardless. You know, grasshoppers, grasshoppers essentially carry parasites. I mean, you can get tapeworms, you can get all kinds of things from these. So all this stuff you see on TV about, you know, dudes biting the heads off of giant larvas and eating grasshoppers raw and things like that, never a good idea. Only in emergency would I do that. This is something that, uh, you know, you collect these while you're out doing other things. You pull the legs off them. You stick them in your pocket, and you, you cook them when you get back to camp. And you have After an abundance. After you roasted of your grasshoppers on the fire until they're pretty much golden brown and crispy looking, um, you know, just pull them off. Make sure you let them cool off, just like you would any type of food. And uh, you know, then they're ready to eat. No big deal. This is a cicada, and then I've got a uh, normal grasshopper right here. Um, they just have just kind of a normal flavor. I mean, well, I say normal. Normal for survival food. Um, when uh, you're starting out in survival, these are the first things that you're going for. You're going for the things that don't run very fast or wild edibles, things like that. So you start with rats and bugs and then you kind of work your way up the, the, you know, the size of the game. You're going to go from rats to rabbits to squirrels to possums, raccoons, and then all the way up onto deer. So, you know, this is just one of the first things that you can um, you can go after that's an easy protein source and definitely something that you shouldn't uh, you know forget. Um, you got any commentary on how to prepare these or better ways to cook them than skewers? I know there's a million ways. It's just like cooking anything else. But uh, drop some commentary and uh, you know tell your friends about what we're doing and help support us by subscribing. Thanks.